Hello Guitar Tone Tuesday friends, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. I know I am. Okay, today we're going to talk about small bodied short scale guitars, particularly of the acoustic variety, and why they might be your thing. Now, here's the reason why I think these guitars are great. One, they're portable. Two, if you have any muscular issues whatsoever in your shoulders or your hands, they can keep you playing the guitar. And three, they can sound great. Now I've got two different guitars in two very different price ranges made under very different circumstances and you'll see more about that in a second when I show them to you. Now I'm going to show you the, the more certainly more budget conscious version uh, of a small bodied guitar first and then I'll show you guys something really special to me. Now uh, this guitar is something that you saw on this show a couple weeks back. This is my father's Eastman AC. TG2E travel guitar. Now travel guitars are very popular these days, be it the Taylor GS Mini or the, the Martin Mini Dreadnought or any guitars of that kind of variety. Now these Eastman guitars are something a little bit different. In my opinion, you get a lot of guitar for your money with these Eastmans. Um, we have a Sapili top on this guitar with a Sapili back and a Sapili uh, sides. Um, it's bound in this kind of faux tortoise shell type binding. Sapili neck, very simple guitar, almost like the Martin 15 series, right? Like the Martin OM15 or, or a single O15. This would be more like a single O style guitar, more like a parlor guitar, uh, but with a shorter scale length. Now this is a travel guitar. The scale length is 23.5 inches. But despite that, it sounds fairly monstrous for its size. <laughs> Now, as you can hear, wow, what a great sounding guitar, right? It just sounds amazing, amazing, amazing. And the nice thing about the short scale length is if you're going to do anything kind of more, more lead oriented, it's no big deal to bend a whole tone. Now, I've got this guitar strung up with uh, D'Addario 12 to 56 gauge, so those kind of light mediums, I think they're called. So the low E string is a 56 and the high E string is, is a 12. Um, and the nice thing about that low E string being thicker on the scale length is that it doesn't sound flubby at all. It holds tune really, really well, sounds great, and at a price point of around $500, all solid woods, it's just a home run, I'd say. And now, the amazing thing is that this guitar also has a pickup. So, I'm going to show that to you as well. Um, this is a Fishman Cenotone pickup under the saddle piezo. Sounds great for a $500 guitar. It's actually astonishingly amazing. Now, if we go to the handmade custom-made guitar boutique kind of world. This is my guitar, which just turned one year old. This is a Peggy White parlor guitar, Riesling parlor guitar. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit longer than that travel guitar. This is actually considered a full-size guitar, despite its small size. It's a bit smaller here at the lower belt, only being 13 and a half. Uh, inches as opposed to 14. Um, and as you can see, this one has a glossy finish. Beautiful, beautiful woods on this guitar. 24.5-inch uh, scale length. So I'd say it's the shortest of the full-length scales, okay? What we would consider a full-length scale. Now, if you hear this guitar un unplugged...
different sound. I'd say the Eastman's a little bit bassier, but this one is a little bit more mid-range pushed. It really, really cuts through a mix well, this guitar. Um, it's a parlor guitar, so it's a little bit, uh, as I say, it's a little bit more oblong in shape. Now this guitar, I mean, you could order this guitar with any wood combination you want. It's gonna be a lot more expensive than the Eastman. You know, we're talking a few thousand dollars for a guitar like this. But this particular guitar has a, a red spruce top, which is the, the wood that Martin used in their heyday on, on you know, back in the 1920s, 1930s on their pre-war guitars. Um, this is called Wenge, this wood in the back, which is beautiful. It's bound in rosewood. It's got a mahogany neck and a darker ebony fingerboard and bridge. It's a little bit wider, the string spacing mm -hmm. on this guitar, 1.75 inches as opposed to the one in 11 sixteenths on the uh, Eastman guitar. Now this one also has a pickup, uh, <clears throat> which I can plug in. Th this pickup is a K and K Quantum Trinity mini pickup. So instead of being a, a under, under the saddle piezo pickup, it's actually sensors underneath the bridge that pick up the vibrations of the wood. So it's a bit more warm as you can hear. If I go to bend those strings, really easy to play. I'd say it's as, as, as easy, if not easier, than many of the electric guitars I own to play. And the point I want to make really is that if you get a pickup in a guitar like this and plug it in, it can sound absolutely huge. And that's what a lot of people are doing these days. Like people like Ed Sheeran are playing a very small body guitar plugged into a, you know, thousand watt PA system playing to a ton of people. And it's, it's, it's an, really an incredible thing. Once you get these guitars plugged in, well, I bent my strings a little bit my strings a little too hard. They can sound fantastic plugged in. So if you're someone who has any muscular issues, um, any joint issues whatsoever, if you're someone who, as I say, is, is maybe a smaller stature, consider getting a smaller body guitar. Again, the other one that we have here is, is the Eastman ACTG2E. Um, a smaller guitar, and as you can see, it's a bit shorter, this one here. Um, so, please let me know, what did you guys think of these smaller body guitars? Dreadnoughts are not the only thing out there. Dreadnoughts are great guitars, but it's not the only thing out there anymore. There's so many more options these days. These are the smaller of the acoustic guitars, but man, they sound great. That's about it for now. We'll see you guys again next Tuesday.